The Rialto Theater was built in 1937, and it was originally a movie theater, and served the community for years and years until about 1991, and uh, the doors closed with all of the advent of the multiplexes and the big cinemas that started around that time, so they just couldn't compete. Um, in 2002, I bought the building, and uh, it was flooded and boarded up, and so it's been a real joy to bring it back to life. And we've been really blessed with artists and musicians and actors and contractors that have come in and, and helped us with the vision of, of bringing it back. So it's been just probably the most satisfying thing I've ever done. I've been lucky enough to travel quite a bit and I've seen how strong collaboration can be between community and arts and businesses in the area to bring a struggling area back to now the Rialto Theater has art um, in our gallery and we've got actors on our stage and we've got musicians performing in concerts, both local musicians as well as touring musicians. So we've just had a great time with a whole variety of art. Every Tuesday night we've got an open acoustic jam. It starts at 6.30 and it goes till 9. And it's open to any musician of any experience level. Um, you know, some of us have different musical tastes, but we all enjoy what music brings to our lives. So the stage is open and we would love to have any musician come and enjoy the stage and experience that, um, that life that it brings. So, and it's also free to the community that night, so you guys are all welcome to come and join us. In addition, we have plays three or four times a year. And again, those are usually local or regional actors who may not have another chance anywhere else to perform. So we have um, very experienced directors who come and bring out the, the comedic talents and the dramatic arts in a lot of our local communities. It's just a lot of fun, and it's, it's a blessing for me to be able to do this. And all these talented musicians I play with, you know, there's, there's just a whole lot of talent in this theater on Tuesday nights. Some people come in off the street and we start jamming together, and pretty soon we're old friends. We needed a place to play. It didn't matter if there was an audience of six or 16 or 60 or 400 or whatever. We just wanted to play because, you know, you can sit in your house for years and play by yourself and, and not have, you know, not, never get out and, and demonstrate what you can do and, and you'll never get any better. Uh, we're excited to be promoting the, the uh, art in the region here. That is part of the mission of the Rialto uh, Theater nonprofit is uh, to promote art in the region. That's beginning art as well as in all forms. Yeah, for uh, all the people out there in the uh, local community, I think that uh, part of the, uh, the Renaissance, the city of Aransas Pass and the local coast of the area here, which has been somewhat economically depressed for almost two generations, I think it's very critical that we get people together to help come out here and support the arts. What makes all cities great is the arts. You know, when you go to Chicago, when you go to the museum there, when you go to New York, when you go to MOMI. I mean, you know, uh, uh, this is what it's all about.